hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. So today I wanted to talk about adaptations. There's so many that are coming out, have come out, gonna come out later. And that's all Hollywood is really doing. It's either a really terrible remake, sequel number 17 that no one needed, or they're doing book to movie, or book to TV adaptations. And there are quite a few that have come out okay. and even more on the way. So I was talking to my friend Carrie and we were going through these lists and we were like, holy crap, there's so much. And so I decided to divide them into different sections of books that I really wanted to get to before I watched the adaptation, hopefully before it comes out. And then also ones where I just wanna watch the adaptation. I don't feel the need to read the source material or at least, you know, maybe the movie or the TV show will encourage me to want to read the source material. Anyway, so I have want to read the book before the adaptation, just want to watch the adaptation, not really interested in either or already read the book and I want to watch the adaptation. So I have a lot on this list. I have a lot under each of these. So I think that I'm going to start with adaptations that are coming out. It's basically most of them are 2022, but there is some or one that is coming out in December. So adaptations where I want to read the book before the TV show or movie comes out. And so of course, this is not all of them. Um, not even all of them that I didn't care about made it onto the list. Like some of them are just properties I noticed and I was like, yeah, don't care about. So this is not every TV show or movie coming out. That's an adaptation. There's so many more. So hopefully um, maybe some of these you didn't know about and you pique your interest and Feel free to share some down below if you think they are books that I would like. Um, so, and if they have an adaptation coming that I didn't include on this list, feel free to let me know. But first I have to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is Boksu. Boksu is a premium Japanese snack company. And what better snacks to have while watching all of the upcoming TV and movie adaptations? You can have snacks from all around Japan packaged and shipped directly to your home. The snacks are a mix of sweet and salty, and each box is a different theme, so you're always trying new things. And do you want free tickets to Japan? If you use my code JESSO10 in the link in my description, you can be eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to Boksu. My code will get you 10% off of your subscription. Do not miss out on this opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. So again, my code is JESSO10, and it will be linked down below, uh, along with a link to the terms and conditions. But honestly, Boxu is an amazing gift for yourself or for anyone else if you don't have any ideas on what to get them for this holiday season. So I just want to say thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring this video, but let's get back in uh, to these adaptations. But I'll get started. So the first one, I mean, okay. A technical one with like an asterisk beside it is The Wheel of Time. I've already read the first two books in the Wheel of Time series and it's been I've been getting mixed feedback on whether I needed to read the first three books, the first three books and the prequel, just the first book, and I got a mix. So for me and myself, I decided I'm gonna read the first three books. So that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, and then New Spring, which is the prequel. I'm currently on the third book. So technically that can be on here because literally this week, um, the show comes out on Amazon Prime. I don't know if it's going to be like all the episodes at once or once per week, but that is something that I'm close to. So I didn't have a list for ones I'm working on. But to the other ones, the next newest one is in December and it's Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. And this comes out, like I said, in December on HBO Max as a mini series. So this is a book that has been on my like Goodreads TBR for a while that I was like, I'll get to eventually. And then my friend Carrie a few months ago told me about the adaptation, but for some reason I thought I had till next year, but then she reminded me and I was like, oh snap, I need to read that soon. So I've requested it from the library and hopefully it'll come in so I can watch that. I literally don't know what it's about, but I've always just heard good things about it and wanted to read it. So now it's on my, it's moved up on my list. Also, I've got All the King's Men by Kennedy Ryan. So I have not read any Kennedy Ryan. I know I'm so ashamed. I've heard amazing things about her books for years and I haven't read any of hers. And so this is a trilogy, I think. And it's set a TV show. So I don't know if they are, you know, like doing three seasons or something. There wasn't a lot of information about it and it still says network to be determined. So this one might not be anytime soon because the rights have been purchased, but um, there's no network 
as of when I look this up and I'm filming it, but let me know if that changed. But that just gave me more motivation to move her up on my list because I just hear amazing things about her romances. So I need to read Kennedy Ryan ASAP. Now this one, this one, okay. All the light we cannot see, I don't have the author written down. It's somewhere on my historical fiction shelf. I had this book for years. And I've heard a lot of mixed things about it um, and I haven't read it. But I kind of want to read it, but then I'm like, maybe I should just watch the adaptation. And this one says it's going to be on Netflix and they are working on casting actors. So I'm assuming it's going to be next year. I'm not sure, but I don't know if you've read that one. Is it worth reading or does it need to move to the just want to watch the adaptation list? Either way, that is coming on Netflix. Then I have The Changeling by Victor Lavelle. Okay, I wanted to read this in October. I didn't get to it. I thought it was a novella. It is a novel. So I pushed it back. I still have my request in at the library. And another downside to this one is this being on Apple TV. Look here, I already have Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, um, HBO Max, Disney Plus. Like this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I don't know. This one I think, and I didn't say a time, so I'm assuming maybe next year, but it just said unknown. <sighs> I still want to read the novel for sure and then maybe I'll wait for feedback of the adaptation and see maybe I'll wait for it all to be out and then I'll get like a, a trial of, of Apple TV because <laughs> I'm cheap. Oh man but that one was exciting and I think he has another one on this list um, for another book that I've already read um, that may be on a different network. And then I also have Dawn by Octavia Butler. This is being picked up by Amazon Prime. I've only read one Octavia Butler so far and um, that was Parable of the Sower. So I want to get to her other work, including this. It didn't say a year, I think maybe next year, but it is Amazon Prime and they've been putting out new covers for a lot of her books and they're gorgeous. So I need to get to that before the show. Uh, Devil in the White City. Again, I did not write down the author, but I'll have the photo on the screen. This is going to be on Hulu and I always heard everyone who has picked up this book it's nonfiction. um says it is amazing it really reads like a fictional story if it's about like a serial killer is it like hg hh H. holmes or something serial killer during like the world fair in chicago i'm pretty sure and it sounds so good i literally always hear amazing things about it even from people who don't read a lot of nonfiction. so that's gonna be a really interesting one on hulu so i want to get to that then Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, this one didn't have a lot of information on it and I haven't read any of her either. I know, I know y'all, I know. So I don't know if Earthsea, I think it's a series. Um, so we'll have to see as there's like more information. I don't know how many books there is, but I just put it on there as some motivation to get to her work sooner than later. Like a lot of the people on this list that I'm ashamed I haven't read yet. Also another Octavia Butler, but a different network is Fledgling by Octavia Butler, which I think is her vampire story. And this one's gonna be on HBO. So very intrigued about that. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes is going to be on Amazon. I have this one, already I own it. So I plan to read it soon. And just for what it sounds like, cause people say it's like, get out, not get out. <laughs> it's like Knives Out meets, something else I can't remember and it just sounds like a, a fun premise for an adaptation so I, I have high hopes in that one and I feel like fledgling like done by HBO I haven't even read it but I feel like that's a good network for like a vampire story by Octavia E. Butler I'm trying to be I'm trying to be encouraged <laughs> so this said that they inherit wait no okay then also the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I didn't know this one was picked up, but this the rights were purchased. So some of these, if the when there's like unknown information, it's not a guarantee that it's actually going to be uh, made into an adaptation. Sometimes they just purchase the rights and they just sit on them forever because they're rude. Because um, this one didn't have a network or a time or anything, but that would be really interesting. I haven't read the Inheritance Trilogy yet. I own the first and third book, don't ask, but I want to read that because um, I really loved the Broken Earth Trilogy. Um, then Kindred by Octavia Butler says it's going to be on FX, I think. 
I don't know if I read that right. I have a question mark by FX, but I think that's so interesting. It's really like, uh, what's her name? Taylor Jenkins Reid. A lot of her shows are being picked up and all by different networks. I wonder if you're in like TV or movie or something, I'd, I'm curious to know because now we have Octavia Butler on Amazon Prime, HBO, and then on FX, interesting. But I started Kindred, didn't finish it because I wasn't in the mood because it is like, a black woman goes back to the past like by time traveling to the antebellum south and she's essentially you know becomes a slave and i was like mm, it's a little heavy right now but i do want to read it <sighs> so again i'm gonna get to it um pachinko is going to be on apple tv i have heard amazing things about this one i think this is i feel like it's a historical fiction but i hear a lot of people describe it as like a multi-generational family saga family drama kind of book and her like the writing is beautiful again apple tv we'll see but i'm interested hold on y'all red bull has this hold on winter flavor and it's freaking pomegranate oh it's so good it's so good and Okay, Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Another one that's unknown if it really will be adapted, but I think it's, I think it's a romance novel. I know I saw a lot of people talking about it earlier this year um, that it was really good. So I wanted to read it anyway, but I don't know if it definitely will become an adaptation. Regardless, I do want to read it. And finally for TV shows, and I'm pretty sure these are mostly TV shows. That's what the list said. So if I'm wrong, I apologize have the three body problem and that says netflix um i know it's science fiction that's it that's all i know but i think i feel like it's hard sci-fi so i'm nervous if if it'll be too much for my brain and then maybe the adaptation will just be a better way <laughs> for me to consume it but it is something that i did want to read i think that's the start of a trilogy so those are all of the tv shows thus far that I have on my list that were appealing to me that I want to read the source material before the show. And then I only have three movies and I have Persuasion by this person. <laughs> it's coming to Netflix in 2002. Again, just a classic, haven't got to. I'm intrigued, like I won't force myself to finish it like I did, like I wanted to finish Dune, but it's, no who anyway i'm gonna try to read that one the school for good and evil so this one looks really fun um looks like magic school which i love i love a school setting in a book although i don't know i'm willing to give the first book a try i'm willing to give the first book a try and maybe if it's not for me then i won't continue if it's a series i think it's a series but there's a lot of big names that are signing on to this movie can't remember right now but um yeah sounds good and then lastly my best friend's exorcism by grady hendrix it's supposed to be a movie on amazon next year and i've only read one of grady hendrix i've only one I've only read one book from Grady Hendrix and that was a Southern Book Club vampire book. And I am intrigued to read this one. Um, I think it's also set in Charleston. Ooh, love that. So I need to get to it. Here's my thing. So that one says Amazon and at least Persuasion says Netflix. School for Good and Evil I think might be going to theaters. And I have other movies on this on my list that are coming out next year that are saying only in theaters. And here's the thing. I'm not going. Um, <laughs> a fun fact about me actually is really not fun. Um, so like quick mention, I'm going to talk about mass shootings. Ever since the mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado, I have had a heightened anxiety when going to movie theaters and like Jessica well shootings happen everywhere well I mean yes I'm anxious leaving my house at all times not as much here because you know they don't have guns the citizens don't I mean but the drivers threaten my life every day but in the states as those became more frequent more you know always on tv 
I just, yeah, I became more paranoid and more of a homebody. Like I always like being home, but definitely before when I was younger, I went out a lot more. I went to the movies all the time. I was always there, midnight releases, like the movie theaters had my money, okay? Had my rewards card, I was always up in there. And I, it's not like I'm not gone. I just don't go as much because I'm just always like, I only can sit in a certain place. I need to know where the exit is. I need to have an exit strategy. It's just very stressful to go. But we still did go, you know, like I still went, but I never went on opening nights anymore. I like waited. I would try to go like in the middle of the day um, on like a weekday so the theater would be empty. Anyway, then coming here, there is a theater on base, but of course it gets limited films and a lot of people take their children and I just don't want to. So I like watching things at home. So if these movies only come out in theaters, then I will be waiting until they're on a streaming service because like this tweet I saw said only in theaters sounds like a threat I don't like it I don't appreciate it I would like to watch it in the comfort of my own home just like I did Dune and I still enjoy Dune I don't care what anyone says like yes would it be amazing on IMAX yes but I don't have an IMAX here anyway I have a really nice large TV really great great audio it was visually stunning it was it was music to my ears it was you know audibly delicious so i still enjoy doom so i want to watch movies at my house but anyway that was the end of this video just a quick video um to talk about some of those that are coming up and i'll have more of these coming with the other categories under my list so i want to know um are you going to watch any of these that i've mentioned or have you read these books do you need to read the book before the adaptation are there any books you think i might like that have an upcoming adaptation that weren't in this video let me know all of that down below but big thank you to baby's besties lisa hannah brina kayla jamie rayner danielle katie bobby jen leo kate terry emily jesse janine sarah pepper shannon kirsten elizabetta amber celine maria and serena and nigel lavandre stans brianna katrina rosie ava claire carrie demery and rainy and of course thank you so much to baby's admirers and friends of baby thank you to everyone who watches and supports the channel please give this video a thumbs up um, subscribe check out my description box for info ways to find me on the interwebs stay blessed hydrated moisturized and sunscreened and i'll see you in my next one